Can you please tell us your name and where you are from? My name is Sylvia, and I live here in Pasco. And can you tell us who do you have here with you today? This is my son, Derek. Hello, Derek. Can you please tell us um, the problem that you had and your testimony, please? Yes. Before Derek came to live with us um, over a year ago, he has been hospitalized many, many times. And some of those times were in the intensive care unit. Um, he suffered from asthma, severe asthma, and um, was not able to do most of the things that children uh, do at their age. And can you tell us how long was Derek suffering from asthma? Since birth. Okay. So because he was suffering a lot with asthma, where did you guys go to find a solution? Well, Derek had a pediatrician pneumologist that uh, was in charge of his um, medical care. And then any time that he had an emergency, then uh, he was taken to the emergency room. Did he ever have to use any inhalers or medications? Yes, he was on medication, daily medication, two different inhalers every day. Okay. So can you please explain to us what happened during the prayer line a year ago when Derek was prayed for? Um, well, before Derek came to us, we started praying for him. Uh, February last year, we were praying for people with asthma. So we were praying for him. <laughs> Uh, when he came to us, um, I stopped the medication. When he moved uh, to live with me, I stopped the medication. We went to the doctor, and she asked me if he was taking his medication, and I said, no, I took it from him. And she gave me a look, and she said, why? He needs it. And I said, I don't believe he needs it. So she said, fine, we're going to do it your way, but if he starts feeling bad, we're going to put him back on the daily medication. Okay, so I know this is funny, but this is actually a very serious situation where, you know, she has a child that is suffering from asthma, and the doctors thought you were going a little bit out of your mind with taking the medication away, which is usually something that is not often done. So can you please tell us what happened at the prayer line after he was prayed for? Yeah, um, two days ago, July 4th, is being uh, one year that we have been successfully without any daily medication for asthma. <laughs> So can you please tell us what are a couple of things that he can do now that he was not able to do before? Clearly, he is very cheery. So, <laughs> Well, um, now he can uh, spend more time outside. He can play with other children. He can be himself. And um, he has learned a lot, too, because his development was a little delayed because he was uh, spending a lot of time in the hospital. Okay. And Derek, can you come over here really fast? Can you take a really big, deep breath for us? Just go like that. Yay, good job. <laughs> so can you please tell us some advice for anyone who has maybe a child that is suffering with an illness or is going through some medical problems? What would you advise them? Well, first of all, never stop praying for your children, and as to the parents, never stop praying. Uh, believe and hold on to the promise of God that by his stripes we are healed. And even when you believe like I did that he was healed, never stop praying after that either. Just continue praying. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Derek. You may take your seat.